The Coastal Environmental Baseline Program for DFO, it's a great example of a, a program within DFO that has an overlapping or complementary mandate for a lot of work that Slaywatas does. It's collecting data about the current conditions of ports across Canada, including Vancouver and Burrard Inlet, which is core of Slaywatas territory. Slaywatas stewardship work involves a lot of monitoring of ecosystem conditions, current conditions to understand the health of the environment, allowing us to understand the entirety of change in Burrard Inlet from the time of European contact. Slaywatooth is looking at everything from juvenile salmonas to forage fish to bivalves on local beaches. They're also looking at ocean acidification. So they're really looking at a comprehensive look at the ecosystem. They want to know how one aspect is affecting another. It feels good being part of something for the community on a bigger level. You know, people are always wandering up, kids and groups and school groups, and what are you doing, what are you doing? And in a place like the Cove, that spreads word of mouth quicker than it does on the internet. Today what we're going to be doing is some beach staining for juvenile salmonids. We're going to be doing some ocean sampling with an instrument called a CTD. And then we're also going to be doing some crab surveys, looking at what the crab populations are like on the inlet. Beach staining, what we're doing is we're looking for juvenile salmonids, which is one of my favorite things that we do. So we approach the beach that we're going to, one person hops off with the net, the boat comes out, out away from the beach, backs up, does a loop so that the net comes out straight, and then the boat goes in, another person hops off and we pull the net in and then we get a variety of species including pink, chum and coho and we measure a subset of each of those species. All right, so he's a chum. We keep them in a bucket till we've done three sets at that beach and then we release them all and then we all have all of that data now. With the crabs, what the goal is of those surveys is to actually get a better understanding of the crab populations on Burrard Inlet. So we look at things such as like the health of the crab, the sex, if they've been mating recently, and a couple other parameters. The other thing that we're doing is some of our ocean surveying. So this is looking at parameters in the water column, such as conductivity, temperature, dissolved oxygen, and a few other things. And that goes all the way from the sea surface to the sea floor so that we really capture what is in the water column all the way down. I grew up in Slaywatooth territory. I actually went to high school with a couple of my coworkers, and I've learned a lot working with the crew, things that I never would have otherwise learned. I think having that traditional knowledge and the, simply put, the lay of the land. We know a lot of what's going on around here. Our people use this land and fed off this land and cared about the quality long before it became a job. So there is that traditional knowledge and ancestral knowledge Slavotith can bring and that, that includes an understanding, a really intimate understanding of the territory in a lot of different ways. Look at the wind. Being out on the water every day gives people a sense that the Slavotith people do care. We're there every day. So the fact that the First Nations and coastal organizations are deciding on what they want to collect data on and how they're going to collect the data and is pretty exciting the, the data sets that we're getting out of that approach. As you hear often, Indigenous communities think seven generations ahead and I think that's so important for everyone to consider because we want to leave things better than how we found them.